too. Yeah. I think that sometimes um, people will be buying the wrong kinds of foods just because they appear to be cheaper, but in the long run, it's not a healthy choice yeah. for them. The Project Red believes is it's not simply being full, but being healthy. Mm -hmm. So we try to um, educate everyone in Massachusetts that you know, you should be eating nutritious food, mm -hmm. um, produce, fruits, vegetables, mm -hmm. all that. Um, it's definitely in consideration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think too, some people think that it's so expensive to buy fruits and vegetables all the time, but especially here closer to the city of Boston, we have, you know, hay market. There are also other specialty markets where fruits and vegetables might not be as expensive, expensive as, as they are in what I call a regular grocery store. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of like going out there and looking and keeping track of sales right. so you mm -hmm. know what is on sale when and buying well, you know yeah, those definitely. items. And we also encourage community gardens, right. which is a great. Which is huge. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And people can learn to do that if they have a porch. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do that at home. Yeah. I cannot, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I learn. But and that's the thing. If people learn how to do that, then you can be growing your own tomatoes, yeah, your own cucumbers, and, and you know, Project Bread funds like different programs, and especially ones mm -hmm. that um, really take um, take uh, people who don't necessarily know how to do their own farming, mm -hmm. teach them about urban agriculture, mm -hmm. and teach them how to, you know, start their own small businesses and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. right. And our chefs, chefs in Schools program, mm -hmm. we actually have chefs go into the schools and improve the meals so that the kids <laughs> want to eat them. The truth is, like, if you, certainly not every kid is going to yep. like everything you put in front of them, mm -hmm. but if you put it in front of kids, chances are they're going to try it and they might like it. Yeah. So to yeah. assume that kids don't eat their fruits and vegetables because they're not going to like it mm -hmm. is, yeah. you know, something we need to change. And I think it's good is, to substitute things out. For an example, pizza. Right. You can make whole wheat crust, um, mm -hmm. yeah. organic tomato sauce, and right. put vegetables on top instead of you know, other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And exactly. we test it too. Like yeah. we have like a weighing system where you weight like how much food comes back and we know that these kids are eating the healthy foods. So right. right. The assumption that you listed before is totally like what people need to move away from and right. start seeing that kids actually like healthy meals. It's how they're prepared. It's how we talk about them. Exactly. You know? So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacqueline, you mentioned that you did the Walk for Hunger before. Yeah. And now you work for Project Bread. So mm -hmm. what made you want to get involved and actually work on behalf of the walk? Well, I just think it's a great organization. I don't think anyone in anywhere should be hungry. So mm -hmm. I definitely think working on that is great. Mm -hmm. um, also, I just think the Walk for Hunger is a great <coughs> Boston tradition. Everyone knows about it. Everyone knows when it's coming. It's always um, the first Sunday of May. So I just think it's a great thing to be a part of. And Gabrielle, what about you? What made you want to work for Project Bread? Well, I, I sort of like fell into Project Bread by chance. I was working with the Posse Foundation before. And uh, it's funny because it was like a communications opportunity and I never did communications before. And before I've done tons of internships, but I never felt like I was doing something that really mattered. Mm -hmm. And when I started working with Project Bread, I'm like, no matter how many articles I write, like this is helping someone get a meal. Right. This is helping awareness in Massachusetts for hungry people. Mm -hmm. And so that makes me like really excited to wake up every morning and you know, the transition from student to like working <laughs> nine to five is like, it's a hard transition, but I'm like, I'm doing something amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I work for Project Bread. Great, Happy and time. let's remind people again, mm -hmm. if they wanna get involved, what's the website for them to go to to get involved? Yeah. www.projectbread.org slash walk. Well, I want to thank you both for being here today. Great discussion, and I hope that people at home will, if they're not already going to participate in the walk, that they get their family together and go out and walk, raise some money, feed some families. Yes, yes definitely. Thanks, uh, thank well, you. Thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. That's going to do it for us here today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.